Scott here from Scott Works, and today we're going to run through a scenario of how I load and unload out of the in and out of the car with the weapon. What I do with the weapon. I've had uh, several customers question this, so here we go. Um, first off, to show you folks, I'm working with a pre-cleared weapon, chamber flag. That way, I don't point it at my wonderful wife and camera person. Okay. But for reality situations, the weapon's always hot. Okay, so first thing on the approach to the vehicle, I want to make sure as I'm approaching, I'm aware, I look around, just take things in, make sure nobody's too close because we don't want to have somebody claim that we're brandishing a weapon as we're loading into the car and of course we don't want to be rushed. So here we go. Threat scan. Make sure nobody's too close. If they are, I can sit here and just kind of wait till I open the car, let them pass, whatever. Before I commit to opening the vehicle, once again, look behind me. Everything's clear. Okay, at this point, make sure again nobody's too close. I'll take my concealed cover off, set it in front of the seat. Okay. Then, once I've made sure again nobody's approaching fast, the weapon I will set on the seat like so. I'm making room for me to press in, but yet I want to be able to get it if I need it if somebody decides to come in too quick or charge me or whatever. Okay, once I've got the weapon placed properly so it's balanced on the seat but I can still get a hold of it, it's my last chance to look around before I commit to the press. Once I commit to pressing in, I want to do it fairly quickly because I want to be up here and fairly secure so I still have enough balance and yet can get to the weapon if I need it, okay? So, now, once I get one leg in, if I get a quick approach, I've got enough balance that if I have to, I can get to the weapon and defend, okay? At this point, I'm going to put the weapon in my console, get my other leg in, of course. Now we're off to the races. Cushion. Okay, go ahead and come on around. Okay, and to answer, you know, people's questions, obviously the mount and the holster is tough enough to stay on the chair when I'm loading it in. So, here we go. My handy dandy bungee helper. Okay, now the frame. And there you have it. We're ready to roll. Okay, so here we go for the unload scenario, and again, Obviously, check your surroundings, look around, make sure there's nobody there that looks threatening or too close or whatever. We want to make sure we have a wide open area to unload, nobody really close to you. So, in the reverse, frame first. Handy dandy bungee helper. Uh. 
Okay, and the cushion. Okay, at this point, I get a look around, make sure my perimeter is still clear. Make room to set my firearm out. Look around again before I commit. And I want to transfer out into the chair at this point fairly quickly. That way if I get an approach, I can still get to the weapon, like so. Holster my weapon. Now I'm mobile. I'll look around a little bit, make sure nobody's too close so I'm not brandishing. And cover with a concealed pouch. And there you have it. We're ready to roll.